Oh, this is John Black, Super Chemist. Nice easy video today, just how to get, not how to make, just how to get it. Uh, sodium benzoate. Now, sodium benzoate is, not, I, you can't really buy it at the store, although you, maybe you can if you go to like a uh, canning store where they can foods or a, uh, maybe a health store. I don't know. But I can just get it from eBay. Um, you get a whole, this is the palm baggie here. Um, there's no big deal in buying it. It's like food almost. It's because it's really just used as a food preservative. Like if you can vegetables or something or foods, you'd use this to help preserve it so it didn't go bad. Um, so you can buy truckloads of it. It's no big deal. Um, it's nice, easy. All it is is a benzene ring with a carboxy group on it or a carboxyl group on it. That's all it is, and uh, I guess that's that's about it, really. You can get it from eBay. I mean, it's cheap as heck. Anyways, everyone have a great day, and always remember, science is great. Well, I just wanted to show my graduated cylinders. You can see as it starts out, I got a little 10. This is what I usually use for uh, uh, density, uh, 10 milliliters. That way you don't have to, you know, it's nice and light on the scale, and you don't need a lot of product to do it. And I got a, what is this, a 50. The 100 one I broke, as you can see. But it's still pretty good. I mean, I think it goes up to, it still goes up to 100 right here. So it still works. Uh, 250 milliliter and then the big bad boy, the 1000. You can see that. Is that uh, that's giant. I don't think I'd ever have enough to that to even fill that all the way up, man. Uh, you know, where I need to do have an exact volume. Well, these are great for uh, measuring stuff to exactly, you know what I'm saying? You know those uh, beakers um, that look like cups and the uh, Erlenmeyer? Here, let me get some. These kind of beakers and these kind of beakers, right? Erlenmeyer beaker. They are not accurate. They're just guesses. All right. Now, don't get me wrong. They're close, but close isn't exact. These graduated cylinders are exact. Okay. So keep that in mind if you're trying to do a density test and you're using these. You're not going to get an accurate density off of it because these aren't accurate. These these markings are not accurate. I don't know why. I mean, it's for science. These these are obviously for science, right? Both of these. They're obviously for measuring stuff out. How, how, how much harder would it have been for them to make? Once, once it's measured, it's measured. Once the machine is set, it's set. Why wouldn't they set them to be exact? I don't know. But they're not. Uh, they are close, though, but these, these are exact. So when you do a density test or something like that, you need to have an exact uh, volume of something. You use these. Anyways, I just wanted to show them off. Uh, that's pretty much all of them that I have. Enjoy a good day now.